Several years ago, I heard a unique Russian experience story. To make the story easier to follow, we just refer the main character in the story and Mr. B. At that time, Mr. B was diagnosed with cancer. After going through several cycles of chemotherapy, he was well again. However, before long, doctors discovered that his cancerous cells had spread to other parts of his body. This second time the sickness was extremely serious because not only were the uncountable times of chemotherapy treatments not effective, but they also caused him serious painful side effects. Mr. B's body became weaker and weaker because it was difficult for him to eat or sleep and he started to experience hallucinations. In the month of January 2018, he suddenly fainted in the toilet and passed away in a short time. One of his relatives is a Buddhist. He had tried to introduce the compassion of Amitabha Buddha to Mr. B during the treatment period. However, Mr. B did not really make up his mind to recite Namah Mitofo at that time. Only after Mr. B passed away, did his family members arrange a proper Buddhist service of recitation of Nama Mithofo. At the time of passing, Mr. B was only 40 years old, so both of his children were actually very young. They were just kids who were 5 and 7 years old respectively. So the family guided the two kids to recite Nama Mithofo. They say, if you recite Nam Ami Tofu, your dad might take you to the Amitabha's Pure Land for a tour. Pure Land is a place full of joys, so you will have many things to play with. They just guided the children in the way that a kid could understand. The kids were actually very delighted when they heard about such an amazing Pure Land. Because it sounded like a theme park, which is totally different from the Disneyland. So they agreed to recite Nama Mitofo and make a wish that their dad, Mr. B, would take them to the Pure Land for a joyful tour. As the result, it really happened. Because in the very next day, the seven years old elder child say, Last night while I was asleep, I really went to the Pure Land to play. The other family members heard this and were keen to find out more what actually happened to this elder son. He said, last night in his dream, he saw Amitabha Buddha coming to his room by passing through the windows. He said Amitabha Buddha has blue twisted spiraling curved hair, just like the Amitabha Buddha statue or image we always look at. Furthermore, he said he saw his father, Mr. B, was with Amitabha Buddha as well. The reason Mr. B followed Amitabha Buddha back in his son's dream was to fetch him to the pure land as he wished for. After that, he said he really reached the pure land just within seconds of time and he had a very joyful time in the pure land. He said he was riding on a lotus flower and he saw Amitabha Buddha emitting light. The ground in the pure land was covered in gold and many Buddhists far were flying around. Generally, what this seven years old kid had related corresponds with what is mentioned in the Sutra about the Amitabha's pure land. We have to know that this seven years old kid had no idea about Buddhism at all. He also had never read any Sutra before, but he could actually describe what pure land looks like, which also corresponds to the Sutra. So this is definitely a true fact that he had gone to the Pure Land. The younger brother, who was only 5 years old, felt a little unhappy after hearing all this. Because last night, he had dreamt not a single thing like that. So they asked him, Did you recite Nama Mitofo as we told you last night? The young boy say, Actually, last night, he did not follow the advice to recite the Buddha's name. So the relative encouraged him, it's alright, you can just recite Namami Tofu now and you may have the same dream as your brother. 
being just a five years old, a naive child, he began to recite after hearing all this. He really wanted the same experience that his seven years old elder brother had described. Subsequently, a few days later, this youngest son really had the pure land dream. The things he related were about the same. It was very similar to what his elder brothers described. However, he added that now his dad's hair had become the same as Amitabha Buddha. Mr. B also has blue and twisted spiraling curls like the Buddha's hair. He said, Daddy looks much better now when he was ill. As we mentioned earlier, Mr. B was ill for a long period of time, so he always looked very sick. But now, he has the remarkable appearance, much the same as the Buddha. So the younger five years old son had also experienced the Amitabha's Pure Land trip. All of this show that Mr. B had been delivered by Amitabha Buddha to the Pure Land. Otherwise, it would be impossible for two young children randomly making up these Pure Land trip stories. We have to know that before Mr. B passed away, we would not consider him as the Buddhist at all, since he did not really accept Buddhism when he was alive. Furthermore, he was a seriously ill cancer patient. Therefore, there were absolutely nothing that he had done related to the Buddhism for his entire life. Only after his passing, his family members recited Nama Amitofo, and solely by Nama Amitofo recitation, Amitabha Buddha delivered him to the Pure Land. So this is the core of the Pure Land Buddhism teachings, reliant on Amitabha's deliverance power. It means that even if a Nama Amitofo reciter does not possess any ability to have any self-cultivations, as long as he accepts and recites Nama Amitofo, Amitabha Buddha will surely deliver him to the Pure Land. Mr. B's case is really an inspirational testimony to the teachings. Although the practices of other schools may also refer to reliance on the power of other Buddhas or any other mantras, but none of these has the unconditional deliverance power same as Amitabha Buddha. Because Amitabha Buddha doesn't even require us to have the basic five precepts in order to be delivered. It was mentioned in the Contemplating Sutra that even those with the five grievous offenses will still be delivered to the Pure Land by a Namo Amitofa station. We have to know that the beings with the five grievous offenses are the most terrible beings in the whole universe because they extremely acts include intentionally killing their fathers and mothers, intentionally killing arahats, injuring the Buddha evilly, and also destroying the harmony of the Sangha. These evil beings will definitely fall into the Avicii hell since the karma is so evil and heavy. Avicii hell is the most suffering realm as the beings there experience excruciating pain continuously. Only those who have committed grievous misdeeds will be reborn there. However, the Buddha proclaimed that if these beings recite Nama Amitofo, Amitabha Buddha will eliminate the karma sins and deliver them from the Avishi hell to the Pure Land immediately. In Pure Land, they will achieve enlightenment as well. The Buddha cited this example to show us that even beings that have committed extreme evil karma will not be left out because of the unconditional compassionate deliverance of Amitabha Buddha. So, this is really the special characteristic of pure land schools which differ from others. It's a huge loss for us if we are still unwilling to reset Nama Mitofo. So, we just need to reset the Buddha's name every day and everywhere when we have time. Remember, Amitabha's deliverance power is unconditional. It requires no other conditions or requirements from our side, so we just recite with ease. By doing so, we definitely will be blessed by Amitabha Buddha, and in the end, rebirth in the Pure Land is assured. Before ending, 
I would like to read the quotes from Pure Land Buddhism, which are related to today's sharings. Quote from Infinite Life Sutra, Ganda of Amitabha, Buddha's Fall. If when I attain enlightenment, I will be named Namami Tofo, for beings who recite the name will definitely be delivered to my pure land. There, all beings obtain the same golden body as the Buddha. All appearances achieve remarkable perfections. They also have the perfect compassion to benefit all types of sentient beings. Quote from Great Master Sandok, Because of the power of Amitabha Buddha's vow, no one will fail to achieve rebirth in the pure land. That's all for today. Namo Amitofo. 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 
Namo Ami Tho 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 Please rise and put your palms together. May the merits from Amitabha Buddha be bestowed upon all sentient beings without discrimination. May all beings awaken to the Buddha mind be reborn in the land of bliss. Namo Ami Tofo. Namo Ami Tofo. Namo Ami Tofo. Namo Ami Tofo. Namo Ami Tofo.仰靠阿弥陀佛愿力，人人念佛，人人往生，人人成佛，善导大师所开创的净土宗，是中国佛教八大宗派中影响最为广大、持久、深远的宗派，至今已如海纳百川。成为各宗共同的归宿。